Hi, Jason Spears here at DrPreMed.com. I want to talk to everyone about working on your secondary essay, secondary application to medical school, give you a little brief overview, how to structure that application, and just really get yourself in the door with some of these top medical schools that you want to get into. And so as the word says, secondary application, that's going to come out after you submit your primary AMCAS application, your taxes, or if you're applying to osteopathic medical school is their um, primary application service. And one thing I want students to keep in mind when about secondaries is don't get excited when you get a secondary application. The reason I tell you that is most schools automatically send you a secondary application. So regardless of how competitive you are, most likely you're going to get a secondary. So that's really not telling you too much about um, your chances for getting into medical school and the cost of secondary applications they can range anywhere from a low the 40 bucks all the way up to hundred and fifty dollars yep that expensive to write one essay for getting into medical school at some of these institutions but that's just the nature of the beast so kind of be selective where you're applying to medical school and also I would definitely keep track of the schools that don't, that actually do screen their secondary application. So if you get one of those, definitely, definitely make that a high priority because that means they see something in you as an applicant. So you want to go ahead and kind of have a fast turnaround time on that secondary application for medical school. And when you're completing your secondary application, I want you to keep a couple things in mind. Number one is definitely answer the question that's being asked of you on the secondary application. Now's not the time to be creative. Figure out that you want to tell a story that you didn't tell in your personal statement or something else. You want to definitely answer the question being asked of you on your secondary application. Also with that, you need to sell yourself to the school as well. You need to make a strong case of why you want to go to this particular school. So this is the secondary is really your first time where you can really start selling yourself to particular schools. Everything else has been broad and general, just saying that you want to become a physician and you want to get into medical school. But with the secondary application, now is your time to be very specific and really sell yourself on why you want to go to this school and also include why you would be a good fit for this school. So you need a, it's a two-way street. You need to sell yourself to the school and the school also needs to find out are you a good person that they want to have at your school? Do you fit the history and the profile of students that they admitted in the past? If you do that, that's going to really boost your chances of getting into medical school. When you start really honing in your application, for the specifics that schools are looking for. And you really need to take your secondary very seriously when you're applying to medical school and just looking at some of the data, it's getting competitive and competitive every year that you're out applying to medical school. You have more and more applicants where um, schools are receiving over 8,000 um, applications for a class spot that's gonna be no more than 120 students and they may they may offer a thousand interviews over the application season. So that's really whittling it down. If you're going to 8,000 to a thousand or so, um, applications, uh, excuse me, interviews that are going to be offered. So that just tells you how competitive it needs it is. And so you need to be putting your strongest foot forward and doing everything to sell yourself to a medical school without being cocky or arrogant. But you need to be your biggest advocate for getting into medical school. And once your personal statement's done your sec and your um, application submitted, you really only have your secondary to make that case of why you should be admitted and why you should be allowed to go to the next step in the application process, which would be for a medical school interview. But you just need to cross this hurdle with your secondary application. And again, if you have any questions, something doesn't make sense, or you need professional help working on your secondary, how to compose it, or you're just confused about if something should go in or not, I'm around to help you. You can visit me, Jason at DrPremed.com. Again, Jason at DrPremed.com. That's my email or just come to drpremed.com more than willing happy to give you some help and advice to make sure you're the strongest candidate for getting into medical school and good luck to you as you work through your secondary applications for medical school